make sure it's authentic, right? We have uh, uh, Melissa Crawford from Port Fonda to do just that today. So we are making uh, the Paloma. I think a Paloma. lot of people uh, have the misconception, oh, we're gonna drink margaritas and Coronas right. and all that kind of stuff on, on Cinco de Mayo, but this is the actually authentic uh, drink. Why is, why is this Absolutely. one? Absolutely, the Paloma is known as the national drink of Mexico. Okay. If you've been to Mexico on any sort of a trip, you'll notice that they are absolutely everywhere. And it is actually a very similar cousin to the margarita, mm -hmm. in that it uses the same base of tequila and sweetener and agave and lime, but it adds the element of grapefruit, which adds a really nice tartness. Um, and then it's also okay. always topped with a citrus soda. So you get the effervescence of bubbles, get that the fun tropicaling that you're drinking. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, normally uh, on the show, it seems like you always have um, uh, the mezcal I on did. the show, but we're not bringing the mezcal today. That's we're bringing it. only the tequila. Bringing we're starting tequila. with the tequila you guys serve up down at Port Fonda. Yeah, Omega Altos is our favorite brand of tequila at Port Fonda. And it's what we use in all of our house margaritas and palomas. So we're going to do that today to mm -hmm. make our Paloma Mexicano, which is a fun new cocktail on our Jalisco-inspired menu that we're running right now. Oh, cool. That uses Mexican oregano in addition to fresh grapefruit and citrus soda. So what is the difference th between Mexican and oregano and just the normal so, oregano yeah. I'd go buy in the spice Yeah, aisle. so most of your oregano is Italian or Mediterranean oregano, mm -hmm. and you can buy that fresh and dried in the States. You are going to have a very hard time finding fresh oregano um, of the Mexican variety up north. It's okay. almost always dried. It's actually a cousin of lemon verbena, so it's going to be more citrus, and it's got a note of uh, like anise and licorice as well. Huh. Um, so it's so a little we bit use that. Yeah, in, exactly. Okay. So we use that to make a syrup. Um, that we're gonna pair with that tequila and also with this poblano liqueur and it's not spicy at all. And t yeah, so that's like the poblano, no, like exactly. the poblano peppers. So exactly, so you're gonna get the green and freshness from the pepper and almost no heat. So it's gonna go really nicely with the grapefruit that we're using. Yeah. Also lime juice as always. Okay. And then we made a syrup with that dried oregano. So you're gonna have those fun notes as well. Can you give the secret if somebody wants to go try to find some uh, yeah, Mexican oregano here in Kansas City? The where price they can chopper go? on row is the my price chopper on row. They That's have my everything. Secret. They have all the things that you need for this exact cocktail. But exactly. yeah, they're they're the place that I go to get all my Mexican oregano. As well. Okay. So we're gonna combine all of our ingredients in the shaker. And like you said, we've only got five ingredients in this, it's right? It's really, really easy to make. And you don't have to go as crazy with the Mexican oregano. You can just do a regular agave sweetener if mm -hmm. you don't wanna have to go search that out and it'll still taste fantastic. Um, but so the, the main secret to the Paloma is the citrus soda. So after we put our cocktail in there, we like to use jarritos. Mm -hmm. You'll see squirt used a ton in Mexico. <laughs> um, it can be a grapefruit soda, Feely any kind with of soda. That sugary. Exactly. So we're going to top it with that. Root. So it'll give okay. the bubbles the effervescence, and we've got a nice grapefruit salt on there as well. And then and garnish, we're gonna garnish with, with uh, a grapefruit wedge. And then this is marjoram, so it's a cousin of oregano, but it is also going to be a little bit sweeter, and it has a really nice contrast to the anise that's in the Mexican oregano syrup. Okay, well, before we toast to this Friday, real quick, let us know what's all going on at Port Fonda for Cinco de Mayo coming up this weekend. Yeah, we'll have our huge Cinco de Mayo block party on Sunday, and mm -hmm. we're going to start that for brunch, so come have breakfast <laughs> with us even at 9 a.m. Right. Well, if you, you can't do it all day if you don't start in the morning, right? So, and also, real quick, do we need uh, reservations for that or specials or no, anything? No, we won't be taking reservations. Okay. So so first come, first serve, get there early, and we're having a lot of uh, cocktail specials and food specials to share for your group, so bring your friends. All right, fantastic. Well, here's cheers to Friday, here's cheers to the weekend, cheers to Port Fonda, and cheers to you, Belinda.